I want to uh, begin by thanking LES and Mark Skolnick uh, for giving me a ride here today. I must say it was one of the quietest rides I've ever had. Uh, and I want to thank you all for being here this morning to pass along to the public information about the way things are changing in our world, including uh, the advent of electric vehicles. In late uh, 2014, we gathered just west of here at Green Garage 2, you may recall, to announce that LES had the uh, city's first public electric vehicle charging stations uh, open for business in the city. Today, we're announcing a major leap forward in this particular area. All 10 of the city's parking garages now have a charge point station like this one here at the Haymarket Garage. Each is capable of charging two cars at a time. That means the public now has more than 20 uh, public spots to charge up in the downtown area. This is important for our community because we know that over the next five years, manufacturers are bringing forth electrical pickup uh, trucks, vans, buses, cars, and vehicles uh, representing heavier equipment. All of these things are coming to market soon. We also know that the cost and efficiency of this technology used to recharge electric vehicles is improving day by day. This is not a new uh, initiative for the administration. We've been following along here and analyzing uh, investment in electric vehicle refueling infrastructure ever since we came to office in 2007. Now, the economic and environmental benefits are well known nationally as well as in Nebraska. Consider this data collected over the last few years by the Nebraska Community Energy Alliance and UNL Engineering College. On average, your fuel dollar will take you three to four times further in an electric vehicle compared to a conventional gas-powered vehicle. Also, at the same time, the electric vehicle will produce three and a half times less emissions. That emissions gap gets larger and larger as our friends at LES continue to add renewable energy to their portfolio mix. This, I think, makes sense to everybody. Both LES and the city are members of the Nebraska Community Energy Alliance, so data from our charging stations will be used to further quantify the economic and the environmental benefits derived from these charge point stations. With even more proof of the benefits, we can then justify further expansion and strategic locations of our charging network, including opportunities for public-private partnerships of various sorts. Remember, electric vehicle drivers shop longer when they can park and charge. I'd like to thank a few people now, starting with Wayne Mixdorf, our parking manager. And Wayne uh, has had the foresight and intuition to do a number of great things for us, uh, including investing more in this emerging, emerging technology. I want to thank Ann McAllister, the Executive Director of the Nebraska Community Energy Alliance for continuing to be a driving force for statewide deployment of electric vehicle fueling infrastructures. And I want to thank Mark Broman, who as you all know is the Executive Director of the Nebraska Environmental Trust for NET's interest and support uh, financially uh, for this particular technology. So I'm hoping that each of these folks will say a few words for us and, and uh, we'll all take questions together at the end. So uh, Wayne, I know you're going to demonstrate how this is going to work. I am. Right? 
Yes, sir. Why don't I leave the podium to you and you can do your little demonstration. Thank you. Well, good morning. Um, I'd like to reiterate uh, my thanks personally to all of the people involved that were supportive of this initiative. Um, this was a complicated process uh, that we needed a great deal of assistance in working through, so I'd like to thank everyone again. Um, in using the uh, electric vehicle charging stations uh, uh, in these, this particular model, we have a number of ways of accessing it, but primarily you need to s establish an account as a personal user. And uh, one of the things that you would receive having done that is a card that will uh, give you access uh, to the unit itself. This is pretty small, we can zoom in on that. Um, it's just one of the ways uh, that, uh, that you'd be able to do that. This is the most basic. You can also download the ChargePoint app to your phone, which would then allow you to, uh, to utilize uh, the near field contact unit, which is on the, uh, uh, on the charging station, uh, much the same way that you would use uh, your credit card or your phone at, uh, to buy a cup of coffee over at the mill. Uh, so it's, uh, it's one of the uh, easiest ways to do this. Uh, of course, any of your credit cards that you're able to utilize uh, with near field contact will also be available for use here. Uh, these units, uh, when you pull into the garage, uh, the units are $1 for a full four hour charging uh, session, which should get the vehicle back up to 100%. Uh, and of course, uh, in our case, uh, we are still going to charge you for the parking while you're here. So let me show you how this is used. In this particular vehicle, the unit is here in the front. And of course, someone is now going to have to come over and show me how to access this. There we go. Oh, I've got it. Take your card, and we simply access that, and it's authorizing and it just released the port. Remove that. There we go. Charging session is, is now operational. And you can park here for as long as you want, an hour, uh, two hours, the full session is four hours, and this vehicle is now charging. And we will generate from this complete records of all of the energy used, uh, all of the uh, number of vehicles that access the, uh, uh, the charging stations, and from that we'll be able to, uh, to generate uh, data uh, from, uh, for carbon emissions, reduced uh, for uh, uh, the number of gallons of gasoline saved, and on and on and on. It's very valuable data and we're happy to be part of the effort to generate that information. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. Ann? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Broman. Without the Nebraska Environmental Trust, we could not have made this happen. I'm the director of the Nebraska Community Energy Alliance, which is a statewide organization primarily of municipalities, Lincoln, Omaha, LES, OPPD, soon to be, I hope, MPPD, and other communities throughout the state. What these communities wanted to do was stay abreast with the times. Electrified transportation is another option that car manufacturers are putting out globally and Nebraska did not want to be left behind. So the alliance with members like LES and the City of Lincoln build and promote advanced technologies in transportation. We consider electrified transportation to be number one. It reduces energy, it reduces CO2, and it cuts costs both at the pocketbook, personal pocketbook, and in a community. I can take 50 bucks at today's gas prices in Lincoln and electric rates in Lincoln and spend 50 bucks on gasoline and drive 480 miles. Or I can take that same 50 bucks and drive 1,666 miles with all of the renewable energy that is part of Lincoln Electric Systems, I'm reducing my pollution by 75% over gasoline. 
And Lincoln, this is critically important because one billion vehicle miles are traveled annually by Lincoln residents, just living our lives, doing our work commutes, doing business daily delivery runs. So as we move forward and more Lincoln residents have that option now, they feel supported, we will re reduce pollution and keep those dollars at home. Thank you, Anne. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mark Broman, the Executive Director of the Nebraska Environmental Trust, and uh, we get our funds from the Nebraska Lottery. We get 44.5% of the proceeds, and uh, with those funds, we do projects all across the state of Nebraska that do anything that uh, deals with environmental improvement. And of course, today you've already heard that uh, what we're doing is we're uh, reducing the Energy Alliance uh, with the electric uh, production in, in Lincoln. They've gone to their portfolio is now, I think it's about 50% in growing with the solar panels and wind production. And so for every time that someone plugs in an electric car, they're not putting a gallon of gas in a vehicle. And so we see that as a win-win. Uh, first, because the owner of the vehicle has less costs. And second of all, we've got uh, cleaner air. And in Nebraska, we think we've got pretty clean air and we want to keep it that way. So every mile that's driven with an electric car is a mile that uh, we save it's 75 percent less emissions and as that renewable portfolio continues to grow it even gets higher so each year we're going to see that value go up and that's what's important about collecting the data uh, the mayor and ann both mentioned that we're collecting data from all of these sites in nebraska and uh, all of the ones with the city of lincoln and we've also got a charging station over at the environmental trust across the street from the capitol and so we've got two public ports there uh, that we uh, have on the charge system uh, and so we collect all that data and so we can tell at the end of the year how much energy has been saved and how much the, uh, the air has been improved with using the electric cars. So we're really happy to partner on a project like this. And so we want to congratulate the city of Lincoln for installing all these in the parking garages downtown. And we can hope to continue to see more in the city. So thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Ann, for your hard work. Thank you, Mark. Okay, questions? I think, I think we're all cold, but I hope you're all warming to the topic of electric cars and, and the uh, distribution of increasing infrastructure across the city. I'm sure both the public and the private sector will be accelerating its efforts over time now uh, as, uh, as the industry moves forward. So thank you for being here today and, and uh, spread the good word.